other murders that took place elsewhere. And you've huh. seen them deeply involved with the murders in this town as well. <laughs> That's right. But how do you know all this? <laughs> he's tweeting. York, right now he's tweeting and posting the Facebook and Foursquare while he talks. <laughs> Youngsters tend to hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. He's got a galaxy tab right there. What you need to do is slow this down a bit. That way you'll see what's really important. Let me tell you a story. Fifty years ago, when the war was over, just about when the communist red started, rising threat. Our town constructed a huge clock tower. Okay. And soon afterwards, a serial killer wearing a red raincoat went on a killing spree. It's linked to the clock tower? The legend tower? of the raincoat killer? Stop playing games with me, Harry. That's nothing more than folklore. The FBI has no such record of a multiple homicide case in this town. York, Anna, Becky, and now Diane. Their deaths are real, not folklore, not legend. The raincoat killer is also real. But under huh. a strict gag order, the mass murder case was never made public. In fact, one could say that it was completely erased from history. Tell me, who do you think would be able to do something like that? The president! Obama's no, guilty. Oh, Very good. A modern student. But if there are no records about it, then how do you know it really happened? Good the killer. question, oh. York. Why would I know this? The answer is very simple. I was there. What the hell? I saw it with my own eyes. The brutal killer himself. But we can talk about the details of that encounter another time. What we need to talk about is your raincoat. Huh. The new raincoat killer. So he's saying it's someone yes, different. It's definitely it not the original. That. Okay. All, he's not the real one. What you want to know more about is the new one. Between 10 and 20 years ago, I noticed that these red seeds were special. And someone else did. The human imagination can lead to tragedy sometimes. Someone linked the red seeds to the serial killer legend. Who said, if you eat the red seeds and then kill someone, you will become immortal. What the fuck? This what? This new fabricated legend was passed on from one to the next. Evolving. But they're highly to toxic. Legend, that is. York, the red seeds you have found from those other murders. They're actually they a natural form of Viagra. This town. So that's why everyone is raging boners in town. <laughs> People on the other side of the planet may have heard of it by now. And no seeds might be growing in different parts of the world. So you're saying that the series of cases I've been following are all linked to this town. That's interesting, Harry. But there's no evidence to support that story. None of the criminals we caught for the other murders ever mentioned anything like that. It's your job. Your role and duty to look into that. Huh. Now, the game 
must go on. You know I said that the incident 50 years ago was totally erased. Okay. Not quite. Records still exist in the sheriff's office. Huh. The sheriff's old office. sheriff back then hated the military and did his own investigation. I need you to bring those documents here to me. Once you've done that, I'll tell you everything I know. <laughs> the hell is okay, he doing? Worth a look. Is and he shaking a martini well in that helmet? Have his fun. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for that chapter. Boom. Alright, very nice. This guy made $11,000 in uh, 10 hours. That's like PewDiePie money right there. <laughs> that's not what... That's nothing like what I make. That's balling right there. Documents from a case that happened 50 years ago. Let's play along with the old man for a little longer, shall we? Zach, that means we need to head for the sheriff's department. Yes, it does. However, it also means that I can fast travel, so fuck that driving bullshit. Whoa, what the fuck? Look at this. Giant glowing fucking cylinder directly behind me. <laughs> Can there really be documents here that the FBI doesn't even have? What do you think, Zach? I think it's fucking raining again. That's what I think. <laughs> York, I told you, that's nothing more than local folklore. Harry said that he was there. The raincoat killer is a phantom, made up to scare children long ago. I can't believe you fell for that from Harry, of all people. I agree with George. Harry likes to play with people, play with their minds, too. George, Emily. Uh. Of course, fucking I don't me. believe him word for word. But you won't mind if I at least try to confirm that he's wrong, will you? Hmm. Uh. Well then, can Your you look for the files by yourself? I'm still looking for Thomas. Very well. They didn't find Thomas Emily, yet? What the open fuck? Open the filing room for him. Huh. What the fuck? Whoa! Okay. They're here too, Zach. This might mean we're getting warmer to what we need. Huh. Oh boy. Should be interesting. <laughs> 